All right, what's up guys? I have a special treat for you today. I'm here at Central Rock Gym Manhattan. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about the differences between tall climbers and short climbers and how each one has its own benefits and strengths. All right, let's get started. We're here early in the morning before anyone else and we have Adeline and Jimmy. I want you guys to see the difference in how tall Jimmy is. <laughs> Wait, nice. Oh my god. <laughs> what we're gonna do is we're gonna have them climb grades V2 and up, and we're gonna see the difference in their beta. heel hooks she didn't just because I can reach the heel hook but in general I think we're gonna try to use the beta that we use all the time we're not trying to make it look different just for the camera we both were pretty careful about our footwork so there wasn't much difference in terms of that up next v3 Dynamic moves, I can static sometimes where she has to jump. The fact that you have to jump means that you're getting better about extensions, so you're reaching the most that you possibly can, but you don't necessarily have to jump for everything. And you don't jump very often. Uh, when I do, it usually means I'm skipping holes. <laughs> <laughs> Up next, B4. Jim, did you just, did you not drop me? Because I saw your drop me. Well, I didn't drop me at the same time. It's been pretty far, and it was a big jump for me. These two feet, and I try to just go like this. I have to use all of my left arm, whereas if I turn my knee in and like go dynamically, my, my arm doesn't bend as much. Up next, V5. And then the, the last move is kind of the opposite. Like I can jump into the mantle a little easier or she has to like really use her arms more. We're gonna do another V5. differences mostly at the top she had to use the, the volume as a handle or I just kind of like, went big. Yeah it was a big difference for me at the top I had to figure out which hands I could use to reach the finish because I was not comfortable going big. Up next B6.
difference was that I had to use feet a, like a lot lower, whereas she had to put her feet way higher. That's not a lot of the moves were way more committing for me. I had to pause a couple times before I went for it. Commitment is key, people. Up next, V7. Gosh, that was awesome. That was so good. That was a lot of work. <laughs> I had to basically dyno do and keep the pinches with no feet. And it was hard to bring your feet back in after you cut. But these heel helps a ton. Basically what she said, <laughs> I had to just get my feet really high for some moves. Yeah, like the heel hook move, she had to heel hook the crossover where I just didn't. All right, we have a treat. We have the round setters here. <laughs> this is Corey. He's the head round setter in the CRG Manhattan. This is Kai, he's another setter here at CRG Manhattan. Not expecting that. That move? Yeah. Yeah, like imagine how much it is for him. I've tried this one a bunch. I don't know if it's like a height thing or just a coordination thing, but for some reason it just doesn't go for me. What's the grade on this? Uh, this one is a five. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, Jim. Dang, that was so awesome. You just had to go a little bit more dynamic to everything. Uh, a couple holes where she matched where I didn't have. Yeah, not being able to keep my feet made it harder. Uh, There's a lot more big jumps. There's a lot of core. <laughs> <laughs> I was impressed. The ability to keep my hips in, it's a lot tougher since the foot is lower. It's a whole lot more lock off strength. So, lock off strength is when instead of holding your weight from uh, full extension, you're holding it from anywhere lower where you're activating your bicep. In the end, the conclusion is being a tall climber or short climber is... There are advantages and disadvantages. Some things are easier for me. Some things are easier for me. So, yeah. And uh, just so you guys notice. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much. Uh, it was awesome to hang out with you guys. And now I'm just going to throw in some gratuitous awesome climbing moves. we
Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See ya. <laughs> Wait, nice. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, guys. So I'll cut that out. <laughs> Ha <laughs> <laughs>